Hello everyone, this is Corey Buda from the Chaos Group. In this video, I want to show you the HDRLite Studio integration that we've made in V-Ray 2.0 for Rhino. I'm going to go ahead and start by activating V-Ray RT in the Rhino viewport. And the lighting from the scene is provided by this V-Ray dome light that we have here. I'm going to go ahead and select that dome light, and then I'm going to go ahead and edit this dome light. Let's scroll down to the bottom. Down here at the bottom, you'll see that we have a new section in the dome light parameters called HDR Light Studio Live. If I go ahead and click on Show, you'll notice two things. One, HDR Light Studio starts up, and two, that the lighting solution in VRART is automatically updated. And if I scroll up, you'll notice that the used dome texture is enabled and there's already a dome texture applied to my dome light. And if I click on this map parameter, you're going to notice that there is a temporary HDR Light Studio file that's automatically updating on the fly as we make changes. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a light. As you can see, the lighting solution is changing on the fly. I'm going to make a few changes to this light. Go ahead and duplicate this light. We'll add another here. And again, make a few changes. And I'll duplicate this. And you can see the interactivity here is uh, very, very powerful. I'm going to go ahead and load a project that was sent to me by a colleague. As you can see, the lighting solution automatically updates. I want to go ahead and, and make a couple changes to this file and save it out and send it back to him. As you can see, the rubber on this front tire is pretty dull, so I want to just put a highlight on the on the front part of the tire here. I'm going to go ahead and select the front tire light, and I'm going to enable a feature called Light Paint. Light Paint is going to allow me to position my light by selecting a point in the viewport where I want the highlight. I'm going to go ahead and click on the front part of the tire here. And you'll notice the highlights there now. I'm going to actually change one more light. I'm going to select the gas tank top light. And I'd like that light to be positioned a little bit higher up on the gas tank. So I'm going to go ahead and click up right at the top part of this gas tank just to position that highlight in the place that I want. And as you can see, the highlight moves directly where I clicked. The integration that we've made with HR Light Studio is super powerful. Okay, thank you for watching, and please be sure to check out our other V-Ray 2.0 for Rhino videos.